Yo, welcome back, family. Now check this out. Look, so rapper J Money was shot in Los Angeles, sitting in the Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce belonging to a member of the Korean royal family. Now they say they that this happened in Los uh, Angeles and Korea Town. Now, we're going to get into all that. But before we do, ladies, gentlemen, you got a, a New Year's Eve party coming up, Christmas party coming up. Uh, it's going down at the club, Thanksgiving party. You need flights. Where you go get your flight from? www.marcyville.com. The link going to be in the comment section. It's also going to be in the description. Make sure you go get your flyer now you want the club pack you want everybody to be there people ain't coming because y'all flyers look like trash so if you want the club pack and you want everybody to be there go to www.marcyville.com and get you a flyer so everybody will know to come to your party that's going down for thanksgiving for christmas i don't care if you having a black friday party and New Year's Eve party. Get your invitations in now. My man Marcy, a busy man, working hard. So put your order in now. Y'all already know. If Marcy ain't do it, yeah, you blew it. Now let's get back to this. So look, J Money was shot, LA, Korean Town, Los Angeles, and they say he got robbed for his Rolex, right? And now check this out. My whole thing is this, right? I don't know if J Money was the target. I don't know if the Korean royal family in the beef with somebody or in the world with somebody. I don't know how Korea Town worked in Los Angeles. But let me tell you something about Chicago and Chinatown, goddamn. We don't go to Chinatown. <laughs> no, if I call somebody and they tell me they in Chinatown, I know that they lost. You fuck around and end up being a part of the menu. The Chinatown in Chicago, they got real gangsters down there. And them dudes don't play. They don't play about their area. If you're in there, get out as fast as you can. Got them. If you hop off that 294, go into Chinatown if you want to. You go there with them people. Niggas don't even, in Chicago, niggas don't even go to Chinatown to get food. Got done. Now, I know what's going to happen. It's going to be a nigga get in the comment box. Man, I'll go to Chinatown. They ain't going to do nothing for me. Alright, okay, you end up being a part of the egg fool young, goddammit. That's on you. That I'm just saying. That's how Chinatown is in Chicago. They do not play about their area. They don't play about their territory. And they police is them. So if you go down there and you ain't acting right and you acting like you ain't got no sense and you do anything to any money down there, they're gonna chop your ass up and they're gonna throw you on the menu. I'm not saying that's how Korea Town work in Los Angeles, but I know for a fact that that's how Chinatown work in Chicago. Now, also, in a lot of different cultures, you know what I'm saying? Flexing is looked down upon. They don't like people that flex. They don't want you to flex. They don't want you to do that. They want you to keep the bag coming in. They want you to be secretive and quiet as possible. They not with all that flexing. They don't do that. Was Andrew Lee flexing a lot? I don't know. This is my first time hearing about him. Apparently, he a rapper. And he's a part of the um, royal family. And he been making his round rapping. And supposedly, one of his closest friends in this thing is J Money. And so, him and J Money be working together. So, now. Now, also... Royal families, when you talking about Korea royal families, China royal families, hey, when they beef, oh, it's beef. <laughs> yeah, we talking about bombs and, and cop, man, when these people beef, they go at it. I can't even say if J Money was the target in this situation. We don't even know who did it. It's easy to say J Money a rapper and it could have been some niggas, but I don't know if the royal family got some beef, probably with another royal family, because when these families clash, and dynasties, and shanghais, and the low mains, and the cheese, and the chows, they go at it, so you know, I don't know what happened in this J Money situation, but that's all the details that we got, but um, I think he's still in critical condition, but um, uh, 
Get well to J Money, man. I mean, like they say, Lee is the crown prince of the imperial family of Korea and heir to the Johnson dynasty. Now, y'all know some of these dynasties, they've been beefing for years and years and years and years and years. You feel me? So, and it said they ruled Korea from 1392 to 1897. Now, he was born and raised in Indiana. He is also the founder of the London Trust Media. It was in 2018 that Korea's Imperial Highness King Yai Sao identified Lee as the relative and declared him the family's crown prince. The Korean royal family holds no true power, but still receives media attention as well as preference recognition within the country. Oh, that whole statement don't even make sense to me. How they ain't got no power, but you got people honoring them. You got people ruling over them. Now, they was took down in, I'm guessing, like, 1897, but they still had people that was rolling and controlling things, which is how he became the prince in 2018. So, you know, it's a lot of power behind that. But how did this lead to J Money getting shot and robbed for his Rolex? I don't know. Was he targeted? Was it niggas? I don't know. Was it the, the uh... Dynasties of the families beefing? I don't know. But y'all uh pray for J Money, man, because I heard he was in critical. I mean, any update we get, we'll give it to y'all. But um, you know they robbing rappers in LA anyway, though, man. Taking their chains and everything. I keep telling y'all it's getting gangsta out here. So y'all be safe out here, man. It's your boy Boot, I'm out.